Hi, I'm William Dang, co-founder and chief strategy officer at StackRox. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Kubernetes native security, what it is and how you can use it to secure your containerized application. Kubernetes native security is really based on a single fundamental principle, which is that security is most effectively implemented when it's aligned with the orchestration system managing your containers. And there are six key criteria that I'm going to go through today uh, that we consider to make a security solution Kubernetes native. And so if you have Kubernetes at the center of your environment, the first criteria for the solution is that it directly integrates with the Kubernetes API. And this gives you first-hand visibility into what's going on within your Kubernetes clusters. And so you get a comprehensive picture of everything happening within Kubernetes itself. And the second criteria is that the solution will assess and identify vulnerabilities and other exposures within the Kubernetes software. And the reason why this is important is because we've seen numerous examples of publicly disclosed Kubernetes vulnerabilities, including critical ones that impact the Kubernetes API server. And so eliminating these vulnerabilities um, will help you reduce risk to your business. Um, the, the third criteria for a Kubernetes native security solution is that it must base its security functionality on you know, the resources within the Kubernetes objects model. And so some of these objects you know, include things like deployments, namespaces, services, pods. These are the abstractions that make Kubernetes so powerful and so familiar to uh, various teams, including DevOps, De uh, DevOps teams. Um, and then the fourth criteria, the fourth characteristic, is that the solution has to analyze and use metadata you know, that is declarative within the system to gain greater context. And this context can be used to uh, you know, inform, you know, for, for instance, better detection of anomalous or malicious activity at runtime within your environment. Um, and so you know, that also serves a, a very valuable purpose. Um, and then another key aspect is that uh, security enforcement you know, should be handled using built-in Kubernetes security features. And you know, these features include things like you know, network policies for network segmentation, um, admission control, and other capabilities. And what this enables is greater automation, uh, scalability, reliability for all of your business critical software within your Kubernetes environment. Um, and then finally, the, the sixth aspect of what we consider to you know, be a Kubernetes native security solution is that it has to deploy and run as a Kubernetes application itself. And this includes support for uh, and integrations with cloud native tool, tool chains. Um, and this allows you to streamline your operations, your workflows, your tooling, you know, really across the entire cloud native software lifecycle. Um, and so with a uh, Kubernetes native security approach, you can realize significant benefits to how you secure your containerized applications. And I'm going to go through some of those benefits now. I'm now going to cover the three key benefits that Kubernetes native security enables. And the first is that with Kubernetes native security, you gain increased overall protection for your Kubernetes environments. And the reason for this is that Kubernetes native security is the only approach that gives you comprehensive visibility into Kubernetes specific configurations, compliance with best practices, and isolation between your workloads. And so what this results in is that with Kubernetes native security, you're actually able to eliminate blind spots. The second is that Kubernetes native security helps you discover critical vulnerabilities that are specific to Kubernetes, and which can also give rise to threats that are unique to Kubernetes. For example, we've seen um, you know, threat vectors that arise from running the Kubernetes dashboard. And so Kubernetes native security can help you reduce your exposure to these types of threat vectors and attack vectors. The second key benefit to Kubernetes native security is that it lets you reduce the time and costs needed to get your team started with Kubernetes. And the way it does this is because Kubernetes, Kubernetes native security is built on integrating with the frameworks and existing cloud native tooling that your DevOps teams and other operational teams are using, it reduces the learning curve that's needed to implement security within your environment. 
The second is that by leveraging all the context from Kubernetes-specific metadata, you can actually inform detection to do faster analysis and remediation, which leads to a faster instant response cycle. And the third key benefit to Kubernetes native security is that it minimizes your operational risk to the infrastructure and applications that make up your Kubernetes environment. And the way it does this is that it utilizes Kubernetes itself to achieve highly scalable security enforcement that reduces disruption to your applications, resulting in greater uptime overall. And then finally, it also helps eliminate operational conflict within the environment that stems from things such as inconsistent configurations or user errors. We've now covered the six key criteria that make a security solution Kubernetes native and the three key benefits that a Kubernetes native security approach can only enable. With this approach, you can realize significant benefits to protecting your containerized applications. To learn more about Kubernetes security and StackRox platform, please visit www.stackrox.com.